everyone welcome back to my channel today you see me wearing these jewels and this scarf on my head because I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing and mesmerizing Indian Arabic inspired makeup look when I was living in London I worked for a couple of Arabic and Indian weddings and I really enjoyed and loved doing the makeup and also working for Mac you know there were lots of different people and culture coming to the shop so I could um, do the makeup on different skin tones and uh, always this um, Indian and Arabic people requested me this very strong and elaborated look which I love I really love the makeup they do and um, also the Indian one is very uh, similar I find so I tried to match the jewelry I'm wearing this jewelry I bought it in Whitechapel when I was living in London there is a little market they do in Whitechapel which is a little borough where you can find lots of Indian people um, and they sell all kinds of jewelry dresses it's very mesmerizing so if you visit London please have a look to the Whitechapel market uh, and it was a long time I wanted to do the look inspired by this jewelry so that's what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial of course I know it's not a look you can recreate on an everyday basis but maybe when you're going out and using some different colors is something you can do so um, I hope you will enjoy watching this makeup and now I did this look I'll leave you to the tutorial bye I start by mapping the shape and the gap between the um, double cut crease with the flesh tone pencil I use the chromographic one by MAC, you could use any flesh toned pencil. And now I'm mapping the shape of the eyelid. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. I forgot to tell you in the beginning I applied a little bit of MAC Paint Pot in the color Stormy Pink just to let the pencils and the shadow adhere to the eyes. So just in the middle part of my eyes I'm filling um, the space with this pencil. And now we're gonna fill the other parts of the eyelids. I'm using this gel eyeliner from Kiko, um, which is an emerald green one. Uh, we use it as a base for the shadow and I'm just applying it to the inner and outside corner. And the final step is applying a purple uh, gel liner. This one is Microviolet by MAC and I'm just applying it to the very inner and outside corner. We move now to the part of the cut crease, so just in the end of the crease I'm applying the gel liner, always the purple one we just used. And it's time for eyeshadow now, in the center I'm applying Zoe eyeshadow by Nabla. Um, and you just want to press the shadow on the top of the white pencil and where we applied the green I'm going with the bottle green eyeshadow we're using all matte eyeshadow for this process and then we just blend the edges of the two shadows together and with the tip of the brush as you can see I'm just dragging the other color towards the middle For the purple part, I'm gonna apply this purple eyeshadow and just press it to the corners. With the tip of the brush, remember to always blend the two colors together so you don't have any sharp edges. And always with the purple eyeshadow we used before, I'm just blending the product into the outside part of the crease and dragging it a little bit in the inner corner. And you keep doing this process, you want to apply a darker shadow where the crease starts and then blending it upwards. To clean the area underneath the brows I'm using a powder foundation 
and you just want to apply it with the brush and then blend it with a clean one. It's now time for glitters. I'm using these two glitters by Ben Nye. So you want to apply the glue first. We start from the inner and outside corner with the purple. So after applying the glue, I'm just pressing the glitters against the skin. Once we finish with the purple part, we move to the green and we repeat the same process. We're just gonna leave um, empty the middle part and we're just gonna blend a little bit of the glitters. After applying mascara and eyeliner, I'm just applying a cold pencil in the top and bottom waterline uh, in the black color and underneath a purple pencil that I was blending with the purple shadow. I applied also falsies by House of Lashes, uh, Iconic and then foundation I used Maybelline Fit Me and for concealer the Gotcha covered by NYX. So I showed you very quickly the skin and now we're gonna set everything in place with this foundation powder. You wanna make your skin all matte and perfect. And then uh, I'm just gonna use a bronzer, no blush, and I'm just gonna contour with this um, warm bronzer by Bourjois. And to add more contour, I'm using this um, grayish brown by Nabla, which is in the color Cameo. And moving to lips, I'm just um, contouring my lips with Sore Pencil by MAC. The final step for this makeup is applying a lip gloss by Extreme Makeup in the color 02 and you have the finished look. If you like the look, please thumb the video up, share it on your social if you want and don't forget to follow us on the other social you find in the end of this video so you can be updated on our lives. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you to the next tutorial. Bye!